Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is very highly requested, a day in the life at university as a primary teaching student. So yeah, I'm just going to be bringing you along on my little day and then at the end of this video there is also a nice little haul and chit chat, we catch up. So anyways, this is how I start off most mornings. I like to wake up really early. I'm such a morning person. Everyone kind of finds it a bit crazy, but I wake up at like five, I do some yoga, and then I get ready and dressed for the day. So here's me just doing my little hair. This is like my signature hairstyle right now because it keeps it well tied back and it's just not in the way. Like nothing is more frustrating to me than hair in my face. Or see when it gets tuggy. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. After I do my hair, I like to do my makeup, which, as you can tell, such a beauty guru. All the best buys. <laughs> nah, I swear, this foundation is like five years old, but I mean, it's never done me any harm, so <laughs> it is what it is. And I literally slap it on with my fingers, and they're blue fingers, so it's, you know, trendy. What a trend. Who needs brushes when you've got blue fingers? <laughs> such a vibe. Then, as always, every morning, every day, you no, know, without fail, I have to have a coffee. It just helps me focus so much, guys. It's honestly, no, no shame. I also have oats in the morning and I watch YouTube or I watch Gilmore Girls, basically. Now, when I go out, there were so many stars and I was like, oh my God, like how pretty. We have arrived at uni, guys. I'm at the toilets and the... in the Royal College building. Um, I got the bus, it's free guys, it's such a vibe. Um, no, if someone comes in, I'm just like. But yeah, it's so autumnal by the way, I'm gonna show you his actual Glasgow. Um, I've even got my wee lunchbox. Got it for the range for 1.99. Such a sleigh. I need to stop saying that word. Um, but yeah, guys, let's do this. I really can't be bothered. I've got placement class. I've got um, science. I've got biology today. And then I've got, what's the other thing I've got? I think that's it. But it's like 9 to 10, 10 to 12, and then 3 to 5. It's just a long day. But <laughs> you and me, we're going to get through this together. Let's go. I'm also I'm hiding these in my jacket, which is quite vibe. Anyways, let's go. Guys, I low-key just feel really awkward right now, but I'm just pretending I'm like a tourist. Like, you know, people come here to do uni. Oh my gosh, this is bizarre. I've never done this before. Imagine people from my uni course see me and I'm just kicking about in my family. What a vibe. You know what? Fake it till you make it. I'm a little miss coffee I really don't want to go. I was going to get coffee, but I'm going to wait till after my seminar because that'll be like 12 and I can sit down, you know? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Right, okay guys. Let's go, let's go. I love myself my little iPad but I saw them all over like TikTok and honestly everyone with an iPad seems like they have their life together so I bought one and I can tell you it does not suddenly make your life come all together but it does make it look like you do like my notes I must admit are stunning to be fair uh, so yeah that's all I do at Starbucks I just do notes or I do books or I do whatever and whenever myself up. I wish you were actually here. It's just me. Me, myself and I. So much to do. Such little time. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How are we all? So, the last time you saw me, I was literally at uni. You know, I was filming a little day in the life of uni. And as usual, how it goes is it starts off well, then the stress starts coming. Then I start getting lost about the campus. As a third year, it's really humbling to actually get lost about campus. It's so embarrassing. Um, so yeah, that happened. And then I was just like so hungry for my dinner. And so I stopped vlogging, basically. But to finish off this little video, I do want to just show you a couple of things I've picked up, like a little, a little cute haul. Um, some of it is teacher related, some of it's just because I felt like it. <laughs> um, so, the first thing I picked up in the works, if you don't know, I love the works, and if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Um, so when I was in the works, I'm gonna show you what I picked up, hang on, let me sort this. Oh, so how cute are my wee pumpkins? Is that not so, and the fairy lights, oh. <laughs> so I was in, and they had their three for 10, no, three for five, but you can also get ten for ten, which is amazing. That's like a pound a book. That's insane. Especially if you're thinking of doing like advent calendars or if you are a teacher and you're giving kids books or something for their Christmas, because I know a lot of schools have stopped doing sweets. And I can't believe it, because when I was a kid I used to get me chocolate lollies. Not anymore. But besides the point, so I picked up this. Also, please, I keep looking at myself and I just think I look so peely wally and ugly. But it was raining today and all my makeup came off. So just ignore that, okay? Anyway, so I picked up this and it is selfish and it's the story of Santa, the naughtiest elf at school, which is pretty cute, I'm excited. Then I also picked up the snowman because it's such a classic and I don't think I've actually got it. And then I also picked up this. This is a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, but it's obviously made for kids and I love the colours and oh! I love myself a nice wee Christmas book, so I picked up them. Then I also picked up a pack of, this was £10, and you get 10 books. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 10 books, so you get all these books inside, and these just, this is like Halloween ones, so you've got the Christmas ones, and you've got the Halloween ones, and I just thought they all be so cute for Amy, B, my like younger siblings, and C, when I'm a teacher, always good. Then I picked up these because I'm starting to pick up stuff for placement. I go on placement in December, dreading it. It's in second level, so it's like P5 to P7, which is the older kids. And I'm the same height. I look like a kid. And I'm just not strict. Like, I cannot tell a kid off. I can't say no. I just, I need to work on it. I need to, like, be like, Ugh! but not really, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I picked up these. These are little Christmas character erasers because I just thought, well, they'll be cute for either my leaving presents or like little prizes or I don't know. Then I also picked up, I'm really into crafts, I don't know if you are but 
guess what guys a spooky halloween vibey video is coming and it will include some crafting so stay tuned for that that'll be that'll probably go up on saturday i think today when you're gonna see this it's wednesday so maybe it'll be friday actually i don't know but um anyway so i picked up this from the works as well this was three pounds and i'm gonna decorate it like i thought i could paint it and i picked up glitter um and i just thought that was like so nice. I also picked up wee fake trees um, as well. So I just thought I'll make that into something cool, like a wee decoration. Then I also picked up a trick or treat sign to paint, decorate, all that jazz. That's some Halloween. Um, that's the wee fake trees. Like how cute is that? I just think they are adorable and I can't wait. I, I just love crafting. Um, then I can't show some of the stuff because some of the stuff is Christmas presents for people that have just started getting early. Um, but another thing I did pick up for Christmas, uh, not for Christmas, for like when I'm a teacher is, and also for me because I thought it was so interesting. I was in WH Smith and they've got really good deals on. So this is the children's encyclopedia. And it's basically got all these cool pages on facts, like there's a page on dinosaurs, which I know teachers teach, and then like coral reefs, and there's ones on dolphins, and the one that really interested me the most. Like, I don't know if anyone else is obsessed, but I'm obsessed with the moon, astrology, stars, space. I don't know, I've always been quite obsessed, and I kind of want to get a telescope, so... I might get a telescope. And then today I was in and I picked up these. So I picked up Good Girl, Bad Blood. This is a trilogy. I've read the first one. First one is so good. And then I've picked up a second one. I've still to read it. And I thought I'd just pick up this one whilst it's a fiver in the works. The works, guys. <laughs> then I also picked up this from the works. A Colleen Hoover, November 9. It's meant to be good. Um, so I'm excited to read this. And then I was in Mortar Stones and this was £10 and I'm really into like, you know, manifesting and really reading about, like I love being influenced by people around me and I like making sure that I feel like you are, you're really responsible for the things that you surround yourself with, the things you view on social media, you listen to, you read, and it's all about collecting things from different sources. So I picked up Make Brilliant Work and it's all about lessons on creativity, innovation and success. And I'm so, so, so excited to read this. It's just got things about how to be successful, which obviously reading a book's not gonna make you successful. Oh, I've got dreams. I'm a girl with dreams, guys. I don't know if you do. And then, the last thing I'm just going to show is a little bit of self-promo. I've got to, I'm sorry. Um, my book, of course, The Elf With To... I hope you didn't see my dress. Really sorry. I'm really sorry. But this is The Elf Too Much Cheer. Who's it written by? I wonder. Me! <laughs> Tony Marie McDermott. So I just wrote this little book on... Like a, a little... It's a, it's a kid's poem book, right? Um, and it's all about this little elf, she has a dream to be a dancer, so she takes risks and manages to chase her dreams, basically. And it's so cute, let me read a page, I'll just flick to a random page. Okay, let's read this bit, okay, so. So Bonnie started making the slippers using pink ribbon and thread. They turned out pretty and perfect, exactly what she had dreamt for so long in her head. That's only one page I'm going to show you, that's a wee sneak peek. <laughs> um, but I've been getting so many lovely messages, thank you to anyone who has bought it. It's 5 99 on Amazon, I think. Um, Amazon UK, so you can get it there. I would really, really, really appreciate it if you did. I'm just so, so excited. Um, there are so many other books coming as well because I've written them, it's just trying to draw them in things. I'm not the best, but I'm trying and I'm learning and that's all you can do in life. So yeah guys, that's my little mini haul. I do hope you enjoyed. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video and I, you know what? I might just upload this as it is. I might not even edit it this bit because... I'm all about being authentic these days and I'm also in a rush because I want to film a podcast. It's my sister's birthday. Oh, so much to do. Oh, but do you know what else I picked up? Oh, I must have moved it. I have a crystal. Another crystal, guys. I'm obsessed. But anyways, nonetheless, I'll let you go.
I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you had a lovely day. Hope you're having a lovely morning. I don't know. Um, but you can always send me a DM. And remember, all storms pass. So I'm sending you air hugs, sending you love. And as always, air kisses. Mwah. Bye!